Hello and welcome to the in-depth theory section of Drishti IAS. I'm Aisha and in today's episode we will be discussing about the Copernicus Emergency Management System that is the CEMS. So recently what has happened in the global or international scenario or global geopolitics is the president of Iran has passed away in a helicopter crash and that the place where the helicopter crash took place was a foggy place and it was a forest. So looking and finding the helicopter was becoming a very big task and in that respect it was the European Union's Copernicus EMS which came into the picture. So let us first understand the timeline. First, we will be looking at the news, then what is Copernicus program, then about the Copernicus EMS, then how rapid mapping works and in the end the prelims practice question. And topic is of relevance from general studies paper 3 that is science and technology and also the innovation aspect of it. So, let us begin. And the news talks about what is Copernicus Emergency Management Service that is CEMS called in to locate Ricey's chopper. So, Ricey was the president of Iran who has just passed away in a helicopter crash. So, the helicopter to find the helicopter and to locate the helicopter, the European Union's CEMS as the name itself is talking about the emergency services. So, to locate the helicopter, the Copernicus Emergency Management Service was taken into consideration and because of it, its help, the helicopter was located. So, let us see what happened. So, the Iranian President Ibrahim Rahisi's helicopter crashed and to locate the helicopter, European Union activated its rapid satellite mapping service to help search efforts. So, the rapid satellite mapping service comes under the CEMS. Copernicus EMS rapid response mapping service and the rapid mapping service is one of the crucial component of the emergency management service. So, basically it was the Copernicus EMS and within the Copernicus EMS it was the rapid response mapping service of the Copernicus EMS because of which the helicopter was located. Now about the Copernicus program. So the name of the program, Copernicus program, the name has been put on the scientist Copernicus and this program was launched in the year 1998 and it is part of European Union's space program. So, European Union has a space program and the Copernicus program is a part of the European Union space program. So, you must know that Copernicus program belongs to the European Union and it was earlier called as the Global Monitoring for Environmental Security. So, Copernicus program was also known as the Global Monitoring for Environmental Security and the aim of the Copernicus program is to monitor the earth and its environment by collecting data from a set of satellites. And this set of satellite is known as the sentinels. So, what happens is there is a set of satellite and, because, and through that set of satellite the information or the data is collected and this information and the data is with regard to the uh, earth and its environment. So, this is what is the aim of the Copernicus program to collect data about the earth and its environment. Then the services provided by the Copernicus program are land management, marine environment, atmosphere, emergency response, security and the climate change or etc. So, these are the services which can be looked into through the Copernicus program and users get the information on a full, open and free of charge basis. So, the users who are using the Copernicus program, they get the information full, it means complete information 
openly they get the information and it is free of charge about the copernicus ems now what is copernicus ems so copernicus program we looked into and then copernicus ems is a part of copernicus program and copernicus program is a part of european union's space program see european union space program is a bigger module then comes the copernicus program and within the copernicus program is the copernicus ems ems stands for the emergency services so the copernicus ems the emergency management services came into operation since the year 2012 and it provides geospatial information which is derived from satellites remote sensing and in situ data sources in situ data sources means means in house data sources so this is the this is what the copernicus ems does that is it provides the geospatial information and this information is derived from the satellites and its satellite remote sensing and also with the help of the in situ data sources then it helps to manage natural disaster man made emergencies and humanitarian crisis so this was the case the this was the case in with regard to the iran president helicopter crash that it was also a crisis and that is why the copernicus ems came into the picture to locate the helicopter then the two component of the service of copernicus ems is first is the mapping component and then second is the early warning component so there are two components within the copernicus ems first is the mapping component and second is the early warning component so the mapping component it is because of the mapping component that through which or with its help rice's helicopter or chopper was located and the mapping component includes maps and analysis which is based on satellites and early warning component includes issues which are related to alerts about floods droughts or forest fires then let us talk about the first component that that is the mapping component and mapping component within it has two modules first is the rapid mapping that is rm and second is the risk and recovering mapping and it is within the mapping component it was the rapid mapping which was used to locate the chopper so rapid mapping talks about it activated to look for rice's crashed helicopter and it provides map within days or hours anywhere in the world so it provides the map about any particular location within few hours and by looking at the map it could be detected that what the country or what the nation needs to see and because of the rapid mapping module of the mapping component of the cmes or cems that the iran's president raisi's chopper was located then comes the second module that is the risk and recovering mapping so rrm delivers maps that are required for disaster management and not for immediate responses within weeks or months so it takes time to deliver results while rapid mapping can deliver the map within few hours and days while the rrm require weeks or months then it is used for prevention preparedness disaster risk reduction and recovery then how rapid mapping works so how does the rapid mapping module works so it works to provide maps quickly the service acquires processes and analyzes satellite imaginary geospatial data and social media when required so what happens it it gets the data from the satellites then it acquires the data then after acquiring it processes the data and then when the analysis of the data is done then it is given and within it it has four different products that is reference product first estimate product delineation product and grading product even though within the product the things would not be asked but let's see what is it so the reference product it gives quick information on the area of interest and assets before the emergency disaster takes place 
so it gives information before it takes place then comes first estimate product it provides a quick assessment of the most affected locations after the disaster has taken place most affected locations it talks about then comes delineation product so it supplies information on the impact extent and update on the situation after the disaster has taken place how impactful it was what is the extent and the update then comes the grading product so it provides damage assessment special distribution and extent after the disaster has taken place on the situation after the disaster has taken place so it talks about things after the disaster has taken place so these are the four products within the rapid mapping works so what becomes important from this for you is you need to know that cmes belongs to european union it is under the copernicus program which is under the space program of eu and then what does cmes does it helps in providing the emergency services and the two components of cmes so in the end a prelims practice question and you people will give me the answer in the comment section the copernicus emergency service belongs to european union russia us or uk so give me the answer in the comment section and that's all for today thank you so much for watching till we meet next time keep reading keep writing and keep subscribing to the channel thank you for more informative content like share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications